Hi, I'm Anam Vaziri, and I'm a junior at North Platte High School. Choo-choo! And this poem is called, The Lessons I Wish I Hadn't Had to Learn. Some lessons you might teach your kid. Make sure you always eat your vegetables, look both ways before crossing the street, don't ever take candy from strangers. Growing up, this is what I heard my friends being taught, how they needed to stay safe. The lessons I was taught were never quite as simple. Mine always seemed to correspond with how I make other people feel safe from me. I learned that when flying internationally, always make sure you have a long layover, because in past experience, if you don't have at least two hours blocked out for questioning, you're guaranteed to miss your flight. I was taught to never speak a foreign language too loudly in airport security in the fear of someone misinterpreting me asking if we could get Panda Express before our flight as a terroristic threat. I could never understand the looks people gave. My six-year-old mind just thought they were scared of Chinese food. <laughs> I learned what four bold capital S's on your boarding passes meant and that random security checks were never really random at all. I'd expect a more thorough pat down than everyone else and TSA guards always there waiting for me. Sometimes, when we made it past security with no checks or extra measures, that was a day that stood out. I didn't realize it wasn't normal for that to surprise me. Airports used to be my safe place. The color of my skin made me feel like I was the danger. I never realized that kids behind me in class, taking a particular interest in my culture and religion, asking if I had ever seen a bomb before, or whether or not I said Allah Akbar when I prayed wasn't normal. I always just assumed they were curious, or they didn't know any better. I was always flattered at first. That usually stopped around the time one of them asked if mosques had terrorist groups, or whether or not I thought I was going to hell. Still, I insisted on blaming it on their lack of knowledge of the world, but all optimism is to me anymore is being naive. I've tried to make excuses for the people whose ignorance outweighed their compassion. I blamed it on how they were raised. It's just Nebraska, I told myself. The rest of the world must be better. But I can't keep validating the behavior of people whose only skill is to deny. Everyone says I'm too sensitive and things aren't as bad as they seem. Well, of course they aren't, not for you. You can dismiss the differences, overlook the obstacles, you can make yourself blind to the world if you choose until you live the life of any person of color out there you don't know. Ignorance no longer gets to invalidate my experience. All I ever hear is, at least we're making progress. Things aren't as bad as they used to be. But what if coming a long way isn't good enough? What if my life ends before people decide that they're going to stop being racist? Progress isn't good enough. Not for me.